weekly vlog number 50. This is probably going to end up being a short video. Uh, I really don't have much to talk about. All I have to talk about is my dog. And extra little thing is how I have forged stuff because I had one comment. I answered that a while back, but I did have one comment some time ago uh, where someone asked how I actually afford everything. And I think they asked that when I was doing an unboxing or the cooling block swap for one of my graphics cards. I don't remember. So let's start with my dog. So I did take him into the vet and ended up with a $264.75 bill. So basically a $265 bill. And what they found is that there's signs of heart failure. So they put him on some meds. Uh, so part of the cost was their regular checkup. But I wasn't too pissed that they charged for that this time. Because I went to a different vet this time instead of the one I went to when I actually got pissed about them charging 50 bucks for a fucking 5 minute checkup. I didn't care too much this time because the checkup they did on him was actually thorough. They didn't just start petting him and start talking and ignoring what I said. The guy that actually dealt with him actually did his job. So still expensive, but at least the, he was actually doing what he was supposed to be doing. Another part of the cost was the x-ray my dog had. He had three x-rays done and that cost $150. And he had the x-rays done because the guy said that he could hear a heart murmur in my dog. And it sounded like there was some liquid in his lungs when he was breathing. You could hear a little bit of weird sounds. So he took the x-rays and it kind of just proved that, yeah, my dog's got an enlarged heart. Uh, it looks like he's got some fluid in his lungs. It's not pooling together. It's kind of spread out. Just a little weird, apparently. And there's just, his heart's kind of causing some of the other internals of his body to get kind of bent out of shape incorrectly. And it's kind of causing problems with him, which is why there's liquid entering his lungs because the size of his heart. So he is on pills now, uh, which actually cost me $57.75. And those pills he's on are for the water, the liquid in his lungs, I guess. It's kind of watery. It's not really water, though. But they're calling it water pills, so I guess water. But it's for the liquid in his lungs, and it's for his heart. And that's going to be an ongoing thing. I have to get him every month now. Uh, so it's going to be a $58, basically, I guess I can say. $58 a month additional bill I have to deal with each month. Uh, so saying basically 58 because it's 57.75, and he round up. So, unless I can actually find some place that sells the exact meds I need cheaper, that's what I'm going to end up having to pay extra just to keep him going and hopefully help him stop coughing because his coughing was becoming very bad. And until today, I don't know what's going on with him today, but until today, his coughing was practically gone. Yesterday, he coughed maybe one time and the meds are just really, really helping him. They, they seem to be getting rid of all of his coughing, all of his problems. He's been in a really good mood. He's been just really excited. He's been wanting attention a lot. And he seems to be doing all right. I'm not sure why he's coughing so much today. Uh, we'll see how he does over the next few days. Hopefully it's just some temporary thing, temporary setback. It's probably going to take a little bit longer before the pills actually are working completely how they're supposed to and before he stops coughing entirely. And I guess I'll just give an update in a couple weeks or so, so people know how he's doing. As for the other topic I was going to talk about, it is how I afford the stuff that I get that you see on my channel and I record my videos with. So what I do, I'm a little lucky with my setup here. Uh, so I am on SSI. I have mentioned this before. It's even, I'm pretty sure I got that in the description of my channel that I'm on SSI. Uh, so I'm on SSI. I currently get $733 per month. Yeah, that's a very small amount. That is less than $9,000 a year. Holy shit, right? So, $733 a month, 300 of that goes to rent, though currently $400 of that goes to rent right now because I skipped a few months of rent uh, so I could actually get some computer stuff earlier than originally supposed to uh, because I got tired of waiting and just wanted to speed it up a little so I brokered a little deal and just paying back the months I skipped with an extra $100 per month. But once I'm done paying that back, then it's going to drop back down to 300 a month. Uh, so immediately, let's just assume it's 300 per month. That drops it down to 433 per month that I have for spending and whatever, basically. Uh, so now, then you also have to calculate out bills. So for internet, I pay $40. My mom and dad pay 
the rest of it, I think they pay uh, another 80 for it because we've got some fast internet, though it's incredibly unbalanced and it fucking pisses me off that it's so unbalanced because we have 130 megabit per second download, but only 25 megabit per second up. And even that, the cost is just insane. I want fucking gigabit internet. I want Google Fiber here, but it's going to take a long goddamn time. Uh, probably going to take another 10 years before I see proper internet speeds here for a good cost, but holy shit. I don't know. At least we're getting a little closer to it. So anyways, so you minus $40 from the 433 remaining after rent, left with 393 and Then I also have a phone. I think I pay 32 a month for that. I'm not sure. I don't remember. So we minus another 32 left with 361 then I also have my WoW account active, so minus $15, even though it's $14.99 a month, whatever. I'm just going to round up to $15, and left with $346. And now with my dog, you minus another $57.75, I'll just minus $58 from that, leaving with $288 per month. But of course, I also mentioned that I'm currently paying $400 a month. So right now and for the next four months, I'm technically actually getting $188 per month. Not really a whole lot, especially when you consider the cost of the trike I want. Fucking the trike is $1,000 plus $250 for shipping, so $1,250. Uh, then I also want to get a new Wii U still. That's still, son of a bitch, Nintendo needs to lower the cost of the Wii U to 150 bucks. I'm sure it would sell a lot better if they lowered it to 150 bucks, put out a commercial showing all the good games, uh, show Zelda, show uh, Smash Bros, show Mario, show all this shit for it, and say now the deluxe version is only $150. It'd probably sell a lot better uh, than it is now, because $300 when you can get Xbox One or PS4, I don't remember which one, is $350, they're probably both $350, I don't know. Either way, they're not competing worth shit with those other two consoles, so they really should reduce the price. But yeah, I do want to get a new Wii U still, and I still actually first have to get a chair. So the chair I have now still needs to be replaced. It has been welded to be fixed three times since I got it, and it's just it needs to be replaced because it's not going to hold up, and it's going to have to be welded again before I get a new chair. Probably I might get lucky and not have to get it welded one more time. But at the rate I'm going, 188 a month. The chair I want costs $559, and apparently Need for Seat, that's the chair I'm getting it from, is Need for Seat. Apparently they have a flat rate shipping cost of $15, which is kind of crazy. Uh, I'm going to have to hold off on saying that for sure until I actually order the damn thing, but I would be surprised if it is $15, but if it is $15, then, you know, $559 plus $15 shipping. So it's not really a huge deal with shipping, but... It's still an expensive chair, that's close to $600, and at the rate I'm going, it's going to take quite a while to actually get to that. Uh, because along the way, I also have, I have to get stuff from my fish tank every once in a while. I should have enough right now for quite a while, but I still have an on-tap filter for my sink, so filter cartridges on that, I have to replace every six months as well. Uh, those aren't too horribly much, but at the time I get them, they're probably 25 bucks when I buy two of them at once. And just every little thing kind of adds up and slows things down. Uh, right now, I do have two extra cartridges waiting to be used. And in another month or so, I'm going to have to replace the one I'm using right now for one of the new ones I have. And that should last for a good three months or so. Then I will have to get a new one to replace that. But I tend to get two at a time, so I'll wait until I use both of my cartridges. Then I'll get a new one. So... In the end, I'm basically right now stuck with 188 per month that I can save up, and that's just some slow going, but yeah, it is possible to get the stuff I get if I'm patient. That's also why it's been two years, basically. I'm pretty sure it's been nearly two years since my last computer died, and it's been that damn long because I get so little per month. And though I could turn this into some political shit, uh, speak about the presidential candidates that I have actually been paying attention to. I'm not going to be doing that. I'm trying to keep that away from this channel. But I can say one thing real quick that the whole 12 to 14,000 a year income that Bernie Sanders has mentioned people are on, that's actually accurate. I get less than 9,000 a year right now. And. My older brother gets less than 9000 a year. He's not in the same situation as me. He doesn't have to only pay 300 a month on rent. He has to pay his own rent at an actual apartment. I live in the apartment section of my parents' house. So I get 
I don't have to worry about electricity. I don't have to worry about food. I don't really have to worry about anything. I do have food stamps. I think that's only 148 a month, but I don't have to worry about food at all because if I run out of food stamps, my mom and my dad are there. They'll just get it for me. I don't have to worry. I'm kind of lucky in that regard. Uh, if I was actually in an apartment like my older brother, then chances are I would have to be on the same sort of things he's on. I think he's on something called HUD. I'm not entirely sure what it is, and I think there's one other thing he's also on. Uh, I'm not sure about that either. They're both related to Social Security, same as SSI, uh, Supplemental Security Income. I think that's what it stands for, I don't remember for sure. But yeah, it's all Social Security stuff. And what HUD does for him, as far as I'm aware, is it helps pay for his rent, his uh, electricity, his water, just all of his bills. It kind of helps pay for that. And I don't have that here. I'm not sure why I don't really remember. I'm sure there's a good legitimate reason. It's probably just the location or the need or there's probably something set up where it has to be a specific actual apartment complex rather than apartment section of a specific house. It is considered a separate residence here since it's not connected directly to the house. This apartment is a separate residence. I legally considered that otherwise I wouldn't have food stamps and uh, it would probably also affect my SSI, but maybe not. Uh, it probably wouldn't. I think it only affects my food stamps if it's not a separate residence, but is considered separate residence. It's got its own bathroom out here. It's got a kitchen. It's got microwave, oven, uh, my own fridge. So it's not like I have to use all the stuff from the house. I have my own stuff out here, but yeah, that's how I afford stuff. No, I'm not rich. I am on SSI. I am disabled with two personality disorders, major depressive disorder, and a sleep disorder. And the sleep disorder, it's not insomnia or something. It's some really weird thing. Basically, I require a ton of sleep. Just biologically require a lot of sleep, and it doesn't actually mean I'm awake longer. I'm awake between 12 and 14 hours a day, but I also require between 10 and 14 hours of sleep each night. So it ends up with my day-night cycle being about 26 and a half hours. Instead of a regular person's 23.78 to 24.38 or so hours. Then that small difference away from 24 hours that a normal person actually requires they're able to adjust themselves so they can actually work within a regular 24 hours. So, I just ended up making this video far longer than I was expecting it to be, and actually that is the end of it because I really have nothing else to speak about, and I kind of covered everything. So, if you guys enjoyed this video, feel free to let me know with a comment, like, subscribe, and or a share. I forgot to mention one other thing. I did record some Borderlands 2. Finally, I am releasing those videos on the 7th of next month. I had to look there for a sec. I forgot. I'm releasing them on the 7th of next month, though I guess I could release them on the 29th, but I already said 7th on Twitter, so I'm just going to release them on the 7th of next month. That should give me a lot of time to get a lot of videos recorded, edited, and rendered. I already got one edited and rendered. I have nine videos recorded, and I'm going to try and get another recording session done tomorrow, so that should add another six to nine videos that I have recorded. So now it's for sure the end of the video. If you guys enjoyed the video, do what I already said. Comment, like, subscribe, and or a share would be awesome. And I will see you guys next week or on some other video. But until then, I will see you guys later. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you guys then. Bye.